Hey guys, and welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to build my porticlus, por I still don't know how to say it, por porticlus door that uses no sand or gravel. So let's just see what it does. You click the button, it closes, click the button again, it opens and the button on the inside does the same exact thing. And then this is just a little lockout switch, so you can't open it or close it. All right, guys, so let's start building this porta, 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 whatever, porta door. Let's start building this door. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna need at least a 11 by 10 spacing. And we're gonna have to dig down at least four. So if you wanna pause the video and do all that, go right ahead. If you wanna start, start building, that's what I'm doing. So we're gonna come to the bottom left-hand side. This is our 11, and we're gonna count over four. One, two, three, four, and then we're gonna count up five. One, two, three, four, five. And now I'm gonna be making my door six wide. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. You can make it shorter, longer, whatever you want, as long as you follow this video. It doesn't really matter how big or small you make it. So now, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and we're done. That's it, we're done. Yay, that's it, that's how you build it. No, we're not done. So we're gonna delete these bottom blocks. Now that we got our sticky pistons in, I'm gonna build the entire frame before I actually start doing the redstone. So I guess pick your block of choice, put it right above the sticky pistons. And I need to get fence posts out because I forgot because I'm stupid. There we go. And we're gonna do three layers of fences. So one, two, and three. And then we're gonna put another block right above that so we don't see the pistons. Cause I don't like seeing any sort of pistons otherwise. And now we're just gonna count up two. One, two. And then we're gonna count up three with a different block. One, two, three. And then we're gonna delete these two and put normal pistons in. Cause we don't need sticky pistons at the top. It's a lot easier to get normal pistons in survival because you can build this on survival no problem. It's very simple to make. So we're going to delete these two blocks and that block. Now we got our whole frame in. So now we can start doing redstone. Yay! Okay, let's just start doing it. Now come back to the bottom left hand side. We're going to put two blocks down. One here, one here. Facing towards the door. And a repeater in the middle of them set to four ticks. Now we're going to put a torch on this side and a torch on this side and on the inner one we are going to put dust wrapping up to this this is our pulse limiter we do need this make sure you build this now we're going to put another block right here and then going into this block we're going to put four repeaters this one's at the four ticks four ticks four ticks and three ticks then we're going to put another repeater here set to one tick delay another repeater here set to one tick delay and then dust right here and we're gonna actually break this block put dust down here and dust right here now we're going to send power to these set of pistons right here so what we're gonna do is put a block here here and just wrap it all along this and then put dust all along the top of that and that will send power to these repeaters uh yeah yeah these repeaters these sticky pistons now we're gonna have to send power to these sticky pistons so we're gonna come back to this block that we put right here next to this and put a torch on top of that with a block on top of that and then we're gonna come down one more right there so we got six here so we're just gonna come over six one two three four five six and then we're gonna come out six one two three four five six there we go and then we're just gonna put dust all along here. You know you did it right, cause then the dust will be turned on. Yay, you're doing it right. Now we're gonna put repeaters down, set them all to one tick delay. And we're gonna put blocks in front of those repeaters, not underneath them. Here we go. And now we're going to put torches all along here. This will lift it up, it doesn't really matter. Once it's all done, then it will go back to normal. Now we're gonna pull out our block of choice again and put them all along the top of these torches. Now you do need these and they're, you can use, you know, wood, stone, whatever, don't care. Every video I say I don't care because this will send power to this while this uh, sticky piston's up here to help it go up twice. Now we're gonna set up the power to these uh, stick, uh, pistons. Well, I was gonna say sticky, but they're normal pistons. So we're gonna bring it out like so on both sides. Make sure you come out twice here. 
and then come underneath it and put one more so it's kind of like a V shape and then all the way down and then we're gonna come over here it doesn't really matter what side you do this one on either and we're just gonna put dust here so when this one pushes this one down this one will activate that one and so on and so forth so let's put our dust down here here and here put a repeater here and here set this one to four ticks and this one to two ticks then come down here put another repeater right under that one and set this one to two ticks and put dust right there and now we can actually hook up the dust to there too so what we actually want to do is put our sidewall in so put start here and just go up and make sure you go up one extra because when this is in the up position you can see up here so you want to make sure that there's a block there I'm gonna put that up like that so it looks something like this so far we got our power it all up right there and now we can come down one more block underneath that put a torch come down one more put a another torch now what we're going to do is come this way away from the pulse limiter so this way towards the left where there's absolutely nothing put a torch under here and we're going to do it again one more time we're going to come over one more put a, another torch and then we're going to come down again put a torch underneath that one and come down one more time with a, another torch now you know you did this right if this one's in the off position this one has to be in the off position all the time all the time and it should hit the floor too so that's pretty simple now we got to take dust right from here count over seven so one two three four five six seven beautiful and then we're going to put a repeater here and then we're just going to hook this up to over here and there there we go now we're going to do our, our input circuit which is going to be a t flip flop without the torches underneath so we're going to put a block here in front of that repeater. Doesn't really actually matter which side you put it on. A piston facing towards the block and then turn this way and a piston facing this way. And we're just gonna put this up like here. Put torches on both sides with dust. Make sure you never put any blocks above these or it can screw up the T flip flop. So don't put any blocks above these torches. Now we're gonna come out right here and then we're gonna put a repeater here and there. Make sure they're both facing towards the T flip flop. And we're gonna just put dust up along here. Now we're gonna put in our buttons, yay buttons. So come out one more and I'm gonna be using red wool here. You do not have to use red wool here. I'm pretty sure you don't want your inside to look stupid. Take out our buttons, put the button there. And since it's closed right now, I got to go all the way around and put the button there. Now, you're just going to come over to here like so. And over to here like so. Break this middle block. Put it here. And put dust all along here. Now, you know you did this right if you hit the button and the dust comes on. Ooh. Now, we're going to come underneath this V-shape looking thing. And we're going to come towards our T flip flop. And make like a L shape put a repeater facing a way from the block now you know you did this one right too is if you hit the button and the repeater comes on so if the repeater is not coming on you did it wrong now we're gonna hook that up and guess what we should be done so if I hit this button here it should open up and close it and then if I hit this button again it should close it. Yay. Now we want to put that lockout switch in. So I'm going to use red wool again. You know what? Actually, let's use orange wool for the lockout switch because I feel generous. So orange wool. And I'm going to put a lever because that's the quickest way of doing it. Lever. And I got to take my sticky back out. There we go. So what to uh, make the lockout switch, all we have to do is put a block right above this because that will stop it and cancel out the current. And then put a block, a uh, sticky piston, I mean, right up here. With another block right next to it. And dust going up to here. And that should lock it out. So, see, when this is down, it's locked. So you can't open or close it. And then when we want it unlocked. There we go. Whee! Now what I'm going to do is speed up the video here. And I'm going to fill in all of this to make it look all pretty. So watch in three, two, one. 
Bam! It's magic. Look, it's filled in. Ah, one second ago it wasn't filled in, now it's filled in. So if we click the button, it opens the door. And if we look up, we can't see nothing. We can't see any pistons. We can't see any redstone. Click the button again, it closes. Now, if you want no one coming into your castle and ransacking everything, we can just click down this lever and they can't get in. Even though it's Minecraft and anyone can easily just go like this and you know. But in our own little worlds, that's not how it's gonna happen. All right, guys, so that's how you build my port, my port, port, portcullis? I, I think I just said it right, portcullis, ah! All right, that's how you build my portcullis door without sand or gravel, no sand, no gravel. It's beautiful. All right, guys, so if you like this video, leave it a like, subscribe, and as always, peace.